Hello, welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful Easter break. We have finished Coraline and are now on to a new story. This is a perennial favorite. Um, I actually got permission directly from the author who gave permission to any librarians who wanted to read this to their students. So Drew Daywalt, thank you for permission for The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors. Written by Drew Daywalt with pictures by Adam Max. Long ago, in an ancient and distant realm called the Kingdom of Backyard, there lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest in all the land, but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. Rock traveled to the mysterious forest of over by the tire swing, where he met a warrior who hung on a rope, holding a giant's underwear. Drop that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man! I will pinch you and make you cry, Rock Warrior! Rock versus Clothespin! Rock is victorious. Even though he had won, Rock was still unsatisfied. So he journeyed on to the mystical tower of Grandma's favorite apricot tree. There he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. You, sir, look like a fuzzy little butt. What? I challenge you to a duel. Then let us battle. Rock versus Apricot. I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and tangy sweetness. Rock is victorious. Ah, I am smushed. And yet, smooshing you has brought me no joy. Are you not entertained? They were entertained, but the battle had been too easy. So Rock left the kingdom of Backyard, still in search of a worthy foe. Meanwhile, in the empire of Mom's home office, on lonely and windswept Desk Mountain, a second great warrior sought the glory of battle, and his name was Paper. Even though he was the smartest warrior in all the land, he was also sad because no one could outwit him. He set out across Desk Mountain to find his match. There, he met a large and square monster. I gobble up the likes of you and spit them out every day, little vapor. Oh, then taste my fury, giant box monster. Paper versus computer printer. Oh no, not a paper jam. Paper is victorious. Having beaten fiercest fighter of Desk Mountain, Paper climbed down to the pit of office trash bin, where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in all the land. The half-eaten bag of trail mix! Paper versus half-eaten bag of trail mix! Ah, foul wizard is blushing at the sun! Run for your lives, laddies! Paper wins again! Can no one beat me? And so, with a heavy heart, Paper departed the empire of Mom's home office. At the same time, in the kitchen realm, in the tiny village of Junk Drawer, there lived a third great warrior 
They called her Scissors. And she was the fastest blade in all the land. She too was unchallenged. On this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. Let us do battle, you tangy and vaguely round monstrosity. I will battle you and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive and tangling powers. Scissors versus Roll of Tay! Scissors is victorious! Scissors forged on across the kitchen realm to the frigid rate wastes of refrigerator slash freezer. There she met her most fearsome adversaries yet. Dinosaurs made of frozen. I have come from the far reaches of kitchen to battle you, oh bizarre and yummy breaded dinosaurs. Bow before our child-pleasing shapes and flavors, Swordmaster. No one can resist our crunchy awesomeness. Scissors versus dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets. Dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets win? No, wait, no they don't. Scissors it is victorious again. Am I so good that not even dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets can beat me? And so Scissors, like rock and paper before her, traveled beyond her own kingdom, seeking a challenger who was her equal. Then one day, in the great cavern of two cards, Rock and scissors came face to face. I hope you're wearing your battle pants, Rock Warrior. If by battle pants you mean no pants but I'm willing to fight you, then yes, yes I am wearing my battle pants, weird scissory one. Rock versus scissors! An epic and legendary battle ensued, but ultimately, Rock is victorious. You have made me so happy by beating me. I wish I felt your joy, Scissors, for I have yet to meet a warrior who can defeat me. Hi there. Those are fighting words. Wait, what? Rock! Versus paper! This is the best day of my life. Thank you for being, for winning, O oh great knight of paper. That's fine for you, but it looks as though no one will beat me. Not so fast, paper. Wait, what? Scissors versus paper. You beat me! And the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy, and they became fast friends. Finally, they had each met their matches. They were so happy, in fact, that they began to battle again and again. Round and round they went in the most epic, massive and epic freeway battle of all time. And it is said that this joyous struggle still rages on to this very day. That is why children around the world, in backyards, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors by playing rock, paper, scissors. I would like to clear up a small manner that comes up every class. The game is called rock, paper, scissors. Shoot is the indicator to go. I never actually get to say this. So there you go. You've learned a fun fact today. Bye guys.